So you're an adult, your wisdom teeth are coming in impacted, the dentist is telling you to have them removed. You know that if you remove your wisdom teeth, even though your face might already be small, it's, it's going to get smaller. Because as I've discussed the last few days, wisdom teeth are the concrete footings of the face, and when you remove them, things sink back. So you want to save them. How do we do that? First of all, right up front, I'm going to tell you, even though there may be treatment modalities, which I'm about to discuss, that can help you add bone to save the teeth, because of course the teeth don't fit, not because the teeth are too big, but because the bone is too small. So we need to add bone to save the wisdom teeth. Even though there are some modalities to do that, it's going to be very difficult to find an orthodontist, even an airway-focused MSE-providing orthodontist, are generally not based enough to be willing to try to help you save those teeth. And a big part of that has to do with the fact that the standard of care is to remove the teeth. What that means is if you go to a teaching hospital and you ask all of the big top professors and doctors there what to do with wisdom teeth, they're all going to say, chuck them. So the standard of care, if you take 10 doctors and ask all 10 of them what they would do, nine of them would say, chuck the teeth. So in a lawsuit, the judge is going to say, the standard of care was to remove these teeth. You left them in. The patient got a facial infection and died because of that really impacted wisdom tooth. You're liable. You violated the standard of care. And that's why I think most doctors don't even want to mess with wisdom teeth. They just want to get them out, cover their ass, and move on. So, first thing, huge, huge, huge challenge to find an orthodontist, even if they use the treatment modalities I'm about to discuss, they're not going to really be game to try to help you save your wisdom teeth, but you can try. And if you're going to try, these are the treatments you should have in mind. Number one, the distraction appliances. MSE for the upper, MSDO for the lower. These are bone anchor devices that go into your bone and then they have a jack screw, you turn them and they split your bone in half left, right on the upper and on the lower, a little bit of a surgical assist to cut the sutures on the upper and the mandibular symphysis on the bottom to assist the appliance to break the bone. But then what you have is a big gap caused by turning the appliance slowly. You get a gap as thick as your pinky finger and that gap fills in with new bone just the same way that the body heals any fracture, such as if you break your arm or your leg, you cast it up, the body deposits bone there to heal that fracture. It does the same thing in the face when you split it with an MSE or an MSDO, and now you have that much new bone in your face. You mesialize or bring forward the teeth, and you've now created space at the back of your jaw for the wisdom teeth to slide in. Great option. Number two, face mask. Face mask, for the upper at least, you use the MSE to melt the butter of your facial bones. Okay, so you split the mid-palatal suture, you expand it a little bit, it loosens up the bones in your face, and then you drag those bones forward or pull them forward with a reverse pull headgear over, let's say, an 18-month period wearing the thing 18 hours a day, which in and of itself is a huge, huge, huge task and inconvenience. But in theory, it's possible that the face mask can pull your upper jaw forward as well as the rest of your face to give you enough bone at the back for some wisdom teeth to slide in. That leaves you though with, with the question of how are we going to save the lower wisdom teeth? And you know, the lower jaw really is the elephant in the room when it comes to trying to save wisdom teeth. Very difficult because MSE we can use on the upper and it's pretty widely available. MSDO on the lower jaw is very, very, very hard to find. In fact, I only know of three providers on the whole planet who offer MSDO on the lower along with MSE on the upper. So options one and two, i.e. distractor and face mask, aren't even available for the lower jaw. Which leads us to option three, which is available for both the upper and lower jaw, and that's SFOT or Wilkodontics. And this is a special type of bone graft in which you're doing horseshoe bone grafts basically on both arches, upper and lower. You're packing in bone material on the outside of the arches, building them out, not from the inside, but from the outside, flapping the gums, stuffing in bovine, cadaver, bone 
powder along with uh, chemicals called growth factors, which encourage the body to now pack its own bone on top of the bony matrix that you deposited artificially. And this can give you some land mass on the outside of your jaws. Then you have a aggressive, expansive Invisalign ClinCheck plan. Again, you need an orthodontist to design that for you. That pulls the teeth out into that new bone creating enough space at the back of your jaws for wisdom teeth to slide in. In theory, that could work. Last thing about saving wisdom teeth, mewing, right? Now, I'm definitely not the guy that's going to say, oh, just mew and your bones are going to grow quickly and dramatically enough to save your wisdom teeth. No. I tried that before I did any orthodontics and very quickly plateaued in the bone changes that mewing was giving me as a 26 year old male if you're younger let's say way younger let's say you're 12 or 13 maybe if you mew i.e chew gum have good tongue posture um, chew tough foods exercise with your mouth closed by nasal breathing and you put all that stimulus into your jaws from that young age maybe that will stimulate them to grow enough that your wisdom teeth will be saved but as an adult, we should still mew. Even if it's not going to be enough by itself to give us space for our wisdom teeth, we should still mew to have slow bone development over a 5 to 10 year period of maybe a few millimeters. Or if nothing else, just to prevent our jaws from shrinking anymore. Or to we mew as adults to stabilize expansion that we get from any of the protocols previously mentioned in this video. So... Uh, I've also heard reports of people who've done lots of postural work that then help them save their wisdom teeth, but I would put that in the mewing category because posture work is really leading to better oral facial habits, better tongue posture, better ability to stimulate your own natural bone growth in your face. So we always want to be doing the lifestyle mewing stuff on top of any artificial expansion that we do as a core kind of um, foundation for the expansion that we're doing and to stabilize it. So to summarize this video, it's not easy to save wisdom teeth as adults. You're going to need a willing orthodontist. That willing orthodontist is going to have to have bone growing treatment modalities. It's going to have to be properly executed. And even then, there's a good chance it's probably going to be only on the upper jaw that you're going to be able to save the wisdom teeth because of the asymmetry we have in terms of upper versus lower jaw treatments. We have MSE and face mask readily available on the upper. On the lower, there's no face mask. We need MSDO, which, like I said, only three providers in the whole world. SFOT is always there to help us a little bit on both arches. Um, and that's pretty much what we're working with, okay? So good luck. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope this video and how daunting the task of saving wisdom teeth as an adult is helps inspire you to save a kid and their wisdom teeth by intervening at a young age so that they're not in the same bind that you are as an adult. Uh, an ounce of prevention is worth 10 pounds of cure when it comes to facial development and we want to do everything we can to help children develop properly so that they don't have to use you know these very intensive orthodontic measures just to save teeth that God gave them and that they naturally deserve to be able to keep. Alright everyone check y'all soon. Peace out.